Hey, it's Andy from VideoGameExperiment.com. Uh, today we are heading out to Wisconsin on VGX on the Hunt Roadshow. Uh, today's show is brought to you by Monster Energy Drink, quite literally, because it's four in the morning, and it's a four-hour drive to get where we want to start out. Uh, so let's see what kind of games we find. <laughs> Okay, we made it. Uh, after some icy roads and a nightmare that was going through the Twin Cities, we are finally here about an hour and a half late, but we made it. Uh, first stop is a Kmart that is closing. We're going to see what they got in there for clearance. Uh, I've been to these before. When they're store closing, they usually do like 10 to 30% off right away. The last few weeks, it's just crazy amounts of savings, but there's not much left. Uh, but we'll see what we can find. And we are back outside Kmart. Uh, their clearance was not too bad. It's 25% off all video games right now. And they had a decent selection yet. Uh, I'm sure that'll dwindle in the coming weeks. Uh, first we picked up Yakuza Dead Souls. A uh, pretty good game. Uh, Yakuza games you can never go wrong with them, I think. That's my personal opinion. Uh, and it was pretty cheap, like 11 bucks. Uh, and then we did pick up quite a few copies of... Uh, Zelda Skyward Sword, which were on pretty good clearance. Um, we are probably going to give away a couple copies of that, so uh, stay tuned for that. We are still in Menominee, which every time I say that makes me think of that old uh, Muppets bit, you know, uh, Menominee. Dun, dun, da, da, da. You know that old one. Uh, is that the Swedish chef? I can never keep those straight. Uh, anyway, I, I realize it's a is it a Chippewa? Probably Chippewa Native American name. Uh, which, a huge chunk of Wisconsin names are of that ilk. Um, we are at a place called Mills Fleet Farm. It's a regional uh, farm and fleet store. It kind of has like a, a lot of animal stuff. Uh, boots, that type of stuff. Um, and the tip, tip that I can give you know, to all you other game hunters, is to always check places that you probably wouldn't realize it would have video games. Um, this regional one, I think it's just Wisconsin and Minnesota these stores are at, but I think around 2010 they decided, oh yeah, well let's, you know, order in a bunch of video games, and then they never sold, because who would go there and buy video games? So, there's still games from like 2010 sealed sitting on the shelf there. Uh, we're going to go see what they got. Okay, back outside, we did find some treasures in there. Uh, Spider-Man, Web of Shadows. Pretty hard to find game new, that's for sure. Um, NBA Street Home Court. I think this one is a sports game that actually is pretty popular. Yet yeah, uh, The NBA Street games, especially like on PS2, were awesome. Um, and then I think this is, might be the only one that was on the last-gen PS3, Xbox 360. Uh, I've never played it myself, but certainly something I should try. Uh, and then lastly, I got Back to the Future for Wii and PS3. Um, it is an adventure game by Telltale Games right before they uh, kind of went on to go do Walking Dead and, of course, The Wolf Among Us now. Uh, they were mostly digital. Everybody that I knew that bought it, that's in me, bought it digitally. And then a little bit later they put it out on disc, just like they did with Walking Dead. Um, but the Back to the Future and Jurassic Park are both very hard to find now in uh, physical form. So if you find them, count yourself lucky. Okay, we just got out of a pawn shop called Pawn X here in Menominee. And it's the type of pawn shop you want to get to if you love retro games. Uh, their Genesis games were a buck ninety nine picked up a few pretty common complete uh, games but there were a couple interesting ones that we ended up getting let's see here uh, trampoline tear is rather hard to find um, got a complete NBA jam TE uh, pretty common but nice to have complete uh, biohazard battle is a pretty tough one to find obviously you can tell by the grid pattern it's a very early copy of the game. Uh, and then finally we got Blast Core Manual and Cartridge. Great game. If you haven't played it, 
and you own an N64, it is a must-have. It's great. Um, yeah, I think we did really well there. We also got an Atari game called Sky Shipper. It's not that rare. It's I mean maybe it's uncommon. I'm not sure. I I don't keep up with my Atari games. I'm sorry, but I it said uh, property of Nintendo of America, and I've never heard of that. Uh, so it was really cool to see that. So just pick that up for a buck fifty. Uh, yeah, and we'll be on to our next place. Okay, we're still Menominee, and uh, one place we always like to check is the local video stores, if they're still around. Uh, they're pretty much dropping like flies nowadays. Uh, but there's one in the Midwest, that a, a chain around here, called Family Video, and they seem to remain fairly strong. Um, and they also clearance out their games that they maybe not as rented as much anymore. Uh, pretty good deals on some of them. Um, uh, a few that I just found in the local one here like cult favorites like Blur for 360, Earth Defense Force 2017, uh, 2025 just came out but I think people still prefer the original. Uh, and then they, they even do newer ones like last year's 007 Legends which kind of bombed, not a very good game but still for how new it is, 10 bucks, you can't go wrong. Uh, the, the, they're also one of the few places that I've ever seen rent out 3D content um, and of course, once it gets a certain age, they start selling it. Uh, Iron Man 3, 3D. Not a bad price for 8 bucks. Thought I'd get it. It's a 3D only, but, well, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm going to. Uh, on to the next place. Okay, we went to the two game stores here in uh, Menominee, Wisconsin. Uh, the first GameStop. Of course, every town has one, it seems like. Uh, just kind of the one... Got a few games there, but the highlight was probably uh, Professor Layton and The Last Spectre. And you're probably thinking, oh, Professor Layton, everybody has those, everybody played them. Uh, this one was for the DS right after the 3DS came out, so it kind of was in that late, late territory for the Nintendo DS. Uh, so that's kind of what makes it collectible and still kind of sought after. Uh, the other game store in town is an independent game store called Game Quest. And Went in there, had a lot of cool stuff, a lot of rare stuff, a lot of retro stuff. Uh, first of all, or the only thing I got there was uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, uh, which is a strategy game for the PS2. Basically what you do, it's, it's kind of like a roller coaster tycoon or SimCity, but instead you're making Jurassic Park, which is, it's really awesome. Uh, I've played it and it's... It's, it's really hard to find, really, really hard to find, actually. It's one of the rarest uh, PS2 games. Uh, got it for a pretty good deal. I mean, it's not... It's about what the price is, but I don't see that one every day, so I had to pick it up. Uh, now, finally, we're done with this town. We're on to the next one. Okay, we made it to our next town, which is Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And uh, first stop is a pawn shop. It's a chain, national pawn company. Uh... Usually pretty good about game prices. Uh, definitely not like the last one where it's anything goes a dollar ninety nine. They're a little bit more on top of their prices, but still they're pretty good on their prices. Um, found some rather hard to find uh, PlayStation Two games. Radiator Stories, King's Field, Dragon Guard. Which I'm kind of excited to try this one out. I've never got into the series. I know the third one is about to come out on the. PS3, which is pretty cool. Um, as f what else we got? Cut a couple uh, Game Boy Advance games. Mega Man and Bass, and uh, Final Fantasy VI, which, you know, that's the cool one to love now. Uh, sure, everybody hates Final Fantasy VII now. VI is greatest. I, not, I don't think so. Uh, Kefka definitely is better than Sephiroth. But I prefer seven. I don't know. It's just me. I I, I might have started. I did play five first. Um, played a little bit of six. Finished seven. Uh, liked. It. I liked eight a little bit. I could see where there's definitely some <laughs> flaws there. But nine and ten were both great too. Uh, but yeah, six is great. I like six a lot. Uh, probably my second favorite. Uh, other than that, we got a couple other DS games from there, uh, but yeah, we're going to keep going to some more pawn shops, game shops, 
Thrift stores, everything we can find here. Okay, we just hopped out of a pawn shop here in Eau Claire. Uh, it's on Menominee Street, and it's got a pretty clever name called Me No Money, which is a great pawn shop name. Um, about found four or five games here. PS2 game, uh, Kesson, which is a Koei game. Never played it. I'm guessing it stars Nabanaga. I'm sure it does, just like all those Koei games. Um, Blur. PS3. I already talked about. I already got that for Xbox. I think today. Uh, great racer. It's it's like Mario Kart with real cars. If you haven't played it, it's awesome. You need to play it. Uh, Baja Edge of Control, which uh, pretty fun game for. Uh, it's kind of like a motor storm if you ever played something like that. Uh, pretty underrated, and uh, you know probably the most underrated PS3 game that I can think of. Uh, Mirror's Edge. It's maybe not totally underrated, I guess, now, since it's getting a sequel, but it is totally great. Uh, of course, the guns, you know, it always gets the gun spot, and then uh, it just kind of falls apart. But if you like free runners, uh, the parkour type stuff, that is the game to get. It's truly, really awesome. And we're back from a local video game store here in uh, Eau Claire called Gaming Generations. It's an independent store. I think they have a few of them around the area. Uh, great store. Friendly people there all the time. We get to chat it up. They know their stuff. Know their old retro games. It's awesome. Um, I did pick up a, f a couple games there. Uh, D for the PlayStation 1. It's a complete lawn box case with the inserts and all that. Uh, horror game. Uh, pretty hard to find, obviously. And, of course, a very hard to find 360 game, which is is kind of weird to say, but they are, they are out there. Uh, Cold Sep Saga, which is a strategy game uh, for the Xbox 360. Um, I, I played the PS2 version. Uh, not that I think this is the sequel to it. I've I haven't played this one, obviously, but I'm happy to have it. I've been looking for it for quite a while. It'll probably go pretty quick on the site, so uh, we will uh, keep on going, keep on trucking, and try and find some more games. Okay, just finished shopping at CNC Pawn Shop. It's still in Eau Claire. Uh, pretty cool place in there. They got some good prices. Uh, something I've never seen before is just like a huge stack of Texas Instrument game cartridges. Like, I've always heard of that stuff, and I mean... You probably found you probably knew somebody that had that old thing, but I've never seen a uh, that many cartridges all at once. Uh, something I'm not really interested. In. Nobody, nobody's looking for that stuff anymore, at least not in in our neck of the woods. There, um, did find some cool games. Uh, Game Boy Advance, Metroid Zero Mission, which is uh, a remake of the ver the very first uh, Metroid on NES, and it's. Probably one of my favorites. Uh, I don't know. Fusion. Be between the two, uh, Game Boy Advance Metroids, I almost like them better than Super Metroid. Pretty controversial, but that's the way I view it. Uh, a couple good prices on Animal Crossing, Super Mario Land 3D. Uh, just stuff that we don't have, and it's kind of nice to round out the library. Uh, uh, we had a Koei game the, at the other pawn shop, and we got some more to hear. Naval Ops Commander. Uh, Nobunaga might make an appearance, probably not in this, this, unless he's, you know, like a ship captain. But I do know he is in this one, Nobunaga's ambition, he is front and center there. Uh, so another Koei game, strategy, goes on and on. So, uh, we'll keep going. And we just got out of Crossroads Pawn Shop in Eau Claire. Uh, it was filled to the brim of sports games and... I didn't really feel like swimming through all that stuff, but we did end up finding one uh, kind of, nothing nothing great or anything, but it's a Midway Arcade Treasures Volume 1 for PlayStation 2. You may think that's, ah, that's not a collector's thing, but the thing about this one is it's a rare variant of the cover. It fits in line with all the other 2-3 uh, compilation on there. The, the very first one, when it first re or printed out, uh, it had a different cover than these. It didn't have the one on there. But the 
the second and third obviously did, and then kind of had that cube instead. So this this must be a reprint one, and it kind of fits in with the rest of them. Makes our shelf look a little bit nicer. So uh, that's why we picked that up for pretty much nothing. Uh, on we go. Okay, last pawn shop that we came out of, uh, Pawn America. It's a big chain around here. Uh, usually that means big prices, and usually that's right, but it depends on uh, who's pricing them out there at each each location. Uh, you can still find some deals. Um, like in here, the prices were pretty high, uh, but we did find some that were eh, moderate. So we've got Maximum Carnage for uh, the Super Nintendo Spider-Man. I think it's the only red cartridge that they made. I could be wrong about that. Um, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes for GameCube. That is a total remake of the first Metal Gear Solid. I uh, haven't played this one, but I uh, heard it's pretty you know, divisive. Either you like it or you hate it. Uh, and uh, finally, War of the Monsters for PS2. Uh, it's an awesome game. It's it's kind of like a kind of like Rampage, but not really destroying buildings as the as the goal. I guess it's it's kind of just fighting as big monsters. Uh, really awesome. Uh, I've heard people really 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 dig it. Uh, have not played it myself though. Uh, but that should be the last pawn shop for today. Um, but we're gonna start hitting up some retail maybe. Uh, we'll see what we get. Okay, we just got out of Best Buy here in Eau Claire and uh, picked up a couple games. New uh, Super Luigi U, even though the year of Luigi is now over. Uh, just picked this up, it was a good price on it. Uh, and The Amazing Spider-Man, keeping with Spider-Man as the theme today. Uh, it was on clearance, picked that up for a good price also. Um, if you're not, if you, if you spend a ton of money at uh, Best Buy, especially games, it's probably worth picking up the Gamers Club Unlocked. It's a new program that they do. I think it's $60. Actually, it's $120, but it was it was on sale for $60. Uh, for two years, you get 20% off of new games, and uh, for us, that's worth it because, I mean, we buy a ton from them, put them up on the site for you guys, but if you do that, you know, every game that comes out every week, do you get, and you go to Best Buy and get it, you're probably going to uh, end up ahead if you go with that program. Uh, that's what we did. Uh, I highly recommend it. Uh, on to the next door. Okay, uh, after a very long day, it is finally come to a close because we are at the hotel in Wausau, Wisconsin. Uh, we got some great games today. Uh, over a couple towns, Menominee and Eau Claire. Some great places to stop and see some retro games. Uh, as well as some modern places too. Um, this will be part one of uh, this episode of VGX on the Hunt. Uh, episode two, or part two of episode one will be coming uh, next week, which will feature everything that happens for me tomorrow. Uh, stay tuned. I hope you like and subscribe this video, and then stay tuned until next week. Night.